messaged me like, don't fuck this up, because this could be an opportunity for you to like move higher up. So I thought, fuck. I mean, maybe I am out of my league. I should do some research and treat this battle with the respect it really needs. So I went on your Facebook, Pedro, and it's just pictures of weed. <laughs> Literally, I could fucking scroll back for weeks and all that I'd see is pictures of weed. Are your friends really like, what's Pedro been up to this week? Well, I've looked and I can tell you, he's taking pictures of his weed. <laughs> I've never known anyone to be that fucking keen and letting people know that they need to smoke green. But Pedro, I'm sorry, babe, but um, I think I'm going to pass. But in talking of predictability, shall I just summarise your bars? You're going to insinuate that I'm gay as if that's insulting in some way. You're going to try and make me hate parts of my body or my face. You're going to say retarded shit like, lose weight, get laid but then be pissed off later if I try and chirps on your mates. <laughs> saying Sleepy's middle tier. <coughs> nah, to me that isn't clear, because you're from Brighton, right? Cool. Because I don't have to disappear to make you disappear. Because <laughs> in terms of writing, your B Magic slash J Pro style, not very exciting. Boring punches, incredibly lifeless with that American style. It's like you forget you're from Brighton, it's like a bibliography. You copy the URL just to credit your writing. So fuck this American hybrid. Because you're such a Yank wannabe that against Twisted Pennies, you use the word thinner. <laughs> Now that just tells me you're a cheap punter. What's next? Calling yourself a trap god? Looking at the camera like three hunter? Because you genuinely said thinner in one of your rounds. But those American phrases ain't nothing to shout. You're chubby and round. Try to lose a couple of pounds because that's the only thinner you should be worried about. <laughs> I'm not here to call him chubby and clown him, because that's what you do. Talk about your own weight so much that it's fucking astounding, like, believe me, I eat a lot. Or that's as likely as me losing any weight. No. You might think it's funny that you're so tubby and rounded. No. You might think it's funny that you're so tubby and rounded, but it's not. You're fat. Go and do something about it. <laughs> Why is it that every time you spit a rap, you get like 11 bars in, then one dickhead in the back lets off a little clap, and you turn around like, yeah. And we <laughs> We start the whole goddamn thing you spat. It's like we heard you the first time, bruv, and that shit was whack. You just asked for that feedback mid match, like the Tinder app. Here's where I dumb out. Okay. It's a shutdown. When I'm done, you'll be called a recluse. And I don't need no crowd reaction. But you can applaud when it's due. I saw him crying like a bitch on Facebook. Last week, he said he ordered a suit. What? How he bought it from America, so he thought it'd be huge. When it arrived, it didn't fit. The coat was too small for this dude. <laughs> and when he put it on, it looked like a corset on you now. <laughs> now I doubt he got it wrong. So I won't call it a lie. I bet the measurements you put forward for the order were fine. He had, he had, four, he had four days to wait. The suit went through an airport on a flight over waters and ice. Security checked to ensure it's in time before soaring the skies. But hey. Don't blame the people he bought it from, guys. Blame Tony Ray. I can see the starch from the bread in your jaw and your thighs. I can see the starch from the bread in your jaw and your thighs. Bruv, the order was fine. You just doubled in weight before it arrived. And we're about the same size. I've got a couple suits myself. You don't want one? Nah. Well, suit yourself. I do what I have to do. No team, I stay solo. You're here to prove yourself. I'm just sparring in a dojo. Mm. This is punches above the belt. I ain't started with the low blow. For now, it's over your head on cam like a GoPro. Mm. Cause my foundation of bamboo structure, I'm like Stevie on the keys, cause my hands do wonders. We got a room full of witnesses. Mm. But act up and I'll have to slump you. And they'll pin the body on me. That's acupuncture. Mm. Oh. You need practice, Donnie. Said your back, but ain't catching body. Why? Cause got rap by Tommy. I Probably your accent, funny when he rappers like bruv. I didn't catch that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Funny when you rap it's like bruv I didn't catch that sorry We can take it acapella or we take it on beat I don't really think that you want cause you from Leeds You want peace with drop D's Punches on a long breach I want peace Then when you want P You wanna swap knees On a hot team That is not me I hate your E And I'm not key And I hate you And I hate you Lot E just ain't what it was G How can you act like you rapped it on flop league Let's get it rolling then ha, Take any league that he's been in and break down Cause he got smoked by opium Let's get it rolling then Take any league that he's been in and break down Cause he got smoked by opium Right, and it meant to be the other way round Proof that he couldn't even flow with them Don't pretend, might as well have bought Big H out Dice games fun like, roll again, roll again Still trying to move in this game now What nigga you went against with I figured you'd win it You be in gay sex clubs
gloves wearing latex gloves. <laughs> Hold up, one there. You got rectal trauma from fingering your ass with a pencil sharpener. <laughs> Stuck up at the wall like an electric charger. See me licking shots like you went to Gaza. Your bars are as real as a red banana. Anyway, look. <laughs> Stephen O'Shea, you need a soulmate. He goes on Skype and speaks to Cole J. I sleep the whole way with me with Rose. Punch to the chest, believer O'Shea. You bun weed to Coldplay and you cry to Brian Adams. His mum, his mum always comments on my rhyming challenge. <laughs> you look like Charles Dickinson mixed with Carl Pilkinson. <laughs> It's mum joke time! Your yeah. mum's got a tattoo of the Umbro sign! <laughs> it's mum joke time! Your mum's got a tattoo of the Umbro sign! She, yeah. Yo, she begin the men's toilet sniffing jumbo lines! She had two battles and she won both times! <laughs> She wears socks on her hands like Mick Foley. Oh. Ay, yo, her nickname up in prison is Big Tony. <laughs> I use her hard nipples as my spliff pokey. <laughs>